Hello, everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome. And thank you again for joining us for another live Q&A. My name is Asia Atwood. I'm the CEO and one of two co-founders of Trello Technologies. If this is your first time checking this out, thank you very much for spending some time with us. Uh, we do live sessions every so often. We typically do them every Monday at 5 p.m. EST. So um, if you're listening to this recording and you'd like to catch it live, be sure to come back next Monday, um, 5 p.m. EST to check us out. Today, we're gonna to talk about a few things, but the main topic for today is Trello Grow LST, which is our automated horizontal plant training system. We're gonna be talking about how, what it looks like in veg, how you interact with it, uh, how you put the plant in, and also how it works. So today we're talking about veg. Next week, we're gonna jump into flowering. Um, and we're also gonna share some updates about some awesome company updates that I'm looking forward to sharing with you as well. Uh, so uh, thank you very much again for, for checking us out. Um, I'm gonna switch up a little bit and show some, some pictures here of a few of our grow trials that we've done. Um, so if you're new to Trello uh, Grow LST, it's an automated horizontal plant training system. And we've been working on this solution for uh, quite some time, uh, myself and my co-founder. The overall goal for us was to figure out a way to train a tall plant to grow in a small, short space using automation because we weren't able to be with our grow all the time. So really what I'm uh, trying to do is we're trying to help people who don't have a lot of time to maintain their plants. You may be very busy, you may be on the go. We try to come up with a solution for you. So what I'm showing on the screen right now on the left is our old prototype um, version four. So we've done this, uh, we're on number six, on design number six. And design number six is what I'm showing here on the right. Uh, that's our, our CAD model. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you some, some, some prototype pictures of our fourth design, show you some pictures of our fifth design, and then talk about how you can get your hands on model uh, on, our, on our, our sixth design, our, our sixth uh, revision here on the right. So um, on the left is version four, and you can see that you've got the top of the plant poking through a, 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 a round ring. Now the ring looks white on this side, but we changed the design as we iterated and made improvements. We changed the design and we now, um, on the right hand side, you can see that the, the, the ring is green. And if I show you, I show you our actual design. Now you can see there's a green ring there and a green ring here as well. So this is uh, <clears throat> our fifth model, fifth design that I'm showing right here. And that's when we in, um, included this green apex ring, we call it. So you can see the green ring here on the left. You can also see it here on the right. And um, going back to the original picture, what you do is you can put your one plant in at the very early vegetation stage. So typically what we do is we put it in when it's about 12 inches tall. Um, so the prototype on, on the left is showing, you know, a lot of kind of stuff all around it. And I'll explain, I'll explain all of this. We've got fans and things going all around. That was prototype number four. We've made some significant changes. So you don't see that on the model on the right. Uh, but what you do is you can use a soil container. So we are showing a soil container right here. And I'll also show a different setup here as well. So on the right, I'm showing uh, a soil container. And then on the left, we're showing a hydroponic tray with uh, grow cubes. So you can use it for a hydroponic setup or you can use it for soil. Uh, we wanted to make sure that we gave you the option to do whatever you like. When growers find a way to grow, they like to stick with it. A lot of people like soil because you're able to use uh, you know, or organic nutrients. You're able to stick, stay away from a lot of the fertilizers. Um, a lot of commercial growers or growers that are you know on the go, busy, need a lot of automation, will typically go for hydroponic setup. So we wanted to make sure that you could use our device for either uh, soil, hydro, aeroponics, whatever you may have. So what I'm showing on the left-hand side is a little bit of a smaller unit. That's our model four. And by four, we mean four feet in length. So we're going four feet in this dimension. And then here on the right is our model six. Um, in the six foot dimension. And you could put soil in the model four as well. Um, it, you can use a soil pot down there. You can use hydroponic. Um, there's definitely plenty of room. If you're trying to figure out how can you um, fit your tray, fit your pot within a Trello Grow LST model, definitely make sure that you go to our website. That's trella.io, T-R-E-L-L-A.io. And I'll drop that in the comments. Go to Trello 
io for more on the technical details um, so you can get a better understanding of the dimensions and the different types of growth containers that can be used with within our models but uh, what we're showing now is just the veg phase so that's our prototype version four let's sh i'm going to show you version version five so version five is kind of our, our our hybrid before we got to version six which i'm showing here on the screen but you can see that green apex ring and in here you can see that the plant's grown a little bit it's not um this is probably about two to three weeks in uh you've got some vegetation uh, go, uh, growing within there and my everyone grows differently i like to use low stress training i don't like to do a lot of trimming a lot of pruning during the veg phase um, I'm actually doing some experiments right now where I'm I'm only pruning in flower, and I know that that typically can result in you know some problems. But if you have great genetics, um, it it should not. So I've got some great genetics, and I want to try to see what happens when I actually hold all of my pruning to flower. And so far, so good. And I'm going to show you a sneak peek of what that looks like at the very end of this uh, at this live. So stick around if you can. Um, but uh, this is showing the early the early veg stage, maybe about two to three weeks in. You've got some vegetation filling in in there, and you can see the very bottom of our fan. It's kind of it's it's you know this is still a picture, so it's not moving right now. But that fan goes back and forth, blowing air under this canopy, so that we don't get stagnant air, and so that we can keep a lot of that vegetation intact. One of the reasons why we put fans within this unit is to make sure that you you don't have to prune a lot so that you and that you're still getting enough ventilation going through the, um, the uh, going through the bottom of your canopy and here we are again from the top so now we're looking at it from a different direction a different angle but you've got your green apex ring and you can see that there's a mesh panel on the top so what we're doing is we're really you know holding the plant down and, and kind of dragging a screen across the top and it moves slowly over time. It's based on the rate of growth. So the more foliage that accumulates in this green ring, the faster this, this system will move. Um, you can see, let me try to switch to this one here. You can see the old version. Um, so version four is right now on the right, and now we've got version five showing on the left. So some substantial improvements that we've made from one design to the next. Um, but basically the, the overall premise is the same. You let, let the top of the plant stick through that apex ring. As it starts to grow, we just move that ring down the pathway until you get to the very end of the vegetation phase. So what does that look like, the end of the vegetation phase? I'll try to get to that. One moment. I've got some great photos to show of the late vegetation phase. So I'm going to do that here. Thank you very much for your patience. One day we'll have a live studio to do this type of stuff in, and I am looking forward to it. Um, and then I'll show another photo on the right-hand side. There we go a little bit in the mid veg stage. Let me try to get that so you can see that a little bit better. So on the left hand side, I'm showing our shorter, smaller model, model four in the late veg. And then on the right, I'm showing our fourth prototype. So this is our fourth design. What you're seeing on the left is design number six in case you happen to miss that. Um, just wanted to let you kind of know where we are in our design process. and. There we go. So now we're at the end um, of that veg phase. And this is version four again. You can see that we still have the fans on the outside and on our final design, you don't see fans anywhere. The fans are underneath. So please, uh, you know, you can ignore the fans for now. They're now on the bottom side of our design. But this is what it looks like at the end of the veg phase. So basically, basically what you're doing is you're letting that opening, that apex ring, start on one side and go all the way to the other. And this is model six, just for size comparison. So this is the end of what we call the end of our veg phase. And here we have 
Here we go. Version five. So that's version five at the end of the veg phase. And um, this is right before we're about to switch into flower. And I'll save that for the next um, live that we do. Next week, we'll talk about the flowering phase, but this is really what it looks like at the end. Um, and this is over a period of time, and it really ver it will depend on how fast your plants grow. So if you're wondering about veg time, how long does this process take? We have that information. Definitely make sure that you go to Trello.io. You can check out um, our product brochure. There's a pop-up. Click the pop-up. You'll be able to get our product brochure. It talks about veg time. It does comparisons to Sea of Green and to Scrog, um, and it also talks about um, you know the labor and your overall yield. And if you're if you're looking for you know a way to get your hands on a Trello Grow LST, we have now. Um, made it available to reserve your Trello Grow LST unit. So uh, we're going to be shipping our units starting in the year 2021, uh, but we wanna you know, get people on board now. We wanna try to, 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 to start the pre-orders as soon as possible. So what we decided to do is we decided to allow you the ability to reserve a very low discounted price for being an early adopter. It's our way of saying thank you for being one of our first set of customers. Uh, so what you're able to do, if you go to Trello.io and you go to shop and you check out our models, you'll be able to learn more. You'll be able to learn more about the technical details from our product brochure, but you'll also be able to go to our shop and to reserve your model at a very, very low low price. And I'm talking, you know, four-figure discount here. So um, you'll be able to go in for either $149 down or $189 down and reserve that low discounted price, get that savings up front. And what we're also offering as well is not just the discounted price, but we're also offering free shipping throughout the continental US. Uh, we decided to switch that up and to um, open that up to more people. Uh, we previously had our pre-orders only available in several states, but we decided to spread that out and to also push back the delivery date so that we can offer our units to more people throughout the continental US. We know we have people that are interested in Cal California, people that are interested in Colorado um, and all throughout, you know, Maine, et cetera. So we want to definitely make sure that we can get this to as many people as possible, but it will, it'll require some time. So what we're doing is we're allowing you to lock in that, that low discount rate. Now you can go to, um, to, to our website, check out the details and learn more about how you can do that. Um, and, you know, again, what I, what I always like to end with and to say is to let people understand that this is really not for, you know, this is not for outdoor growers. Uh, this is not for people who have the time to grow or have the time to be with their plant, or may, maybe you only have one plant that you have to maintain. Um, that's, you know, that doesn't take a lot of time. But for some people who are, you know, using six plants, they have plant count limitations. Um, maybe you're able to do 12 plants, but you're trying to make the most out of each plant. This is a, a great solution for you if you're into training, specifically if you don't have a lot of time. And if you're trying to grow those taller strains, those more, the, the land race strains, the sativa strains. And speaking of land races, we're actually going to be doing a grow trial with a, a land race strain coming up in a few weeks. So stay tuned for that. You'll be able to kind of see as we as it grows, watch that progress um, over time. Uh, but before I end, um, a couple of just announcements I wanted to say that we're really excited to announce that we made it as a finalist for the Boston University pitch competition. Um, that's going to be on November the 7th. So if you're able to, um, if you're in the Boston area, if, if you're near BU and you're able to check it out, uh, please, we would love to have you in the audience to cheer us on. The competition is fierce. Um, you know, we're, we're, it's, it's people of all types of backgrounds, with all types of skills coming up with innovative, new, cool ideas. So we're thrilled to be sharing the stage with four other companies to have a chance to compete for a cash prize and for a really great partnership with a really great company. Um, so we're thrilled about that. That's that's one major, major announcement that we wanted to share. Um, and also wanted to let everyone know about the change that you can now reserve your discount. You don't have to um, pay out of pocket 100% upfront. We, um, we made it easier for people to try to step into this. So if you're interested in, lock, in getting a Trello Grow LST, if you're um, able to wait till 2021 um, you know, for shipment, but you wanna lock in that low discount rate now, please make sure that you go and reserve your unit. It's only either 149 for a model four or 189 for a model six. And we're not gonna be able to do this for all of our units, especially because we're doing free shipping. So we have a limited availability, unfortunately, 
Um, we, we're going to have to, you know, pull the plug on that. And we only have a certain amount of units that we're able to sell at that low discounted price with the free shipping on top. And if you go to our website, um, I already talked about low discount price. I talked about free shipping, but there's another little um, gift in there. So if you go to our website, click on um, our shop, check out our models, you'll see that there's another little special um, gift in there for you as well. So please check it out. If you have any questions, uh, drop it in the comments, let us know. Um, we are thrilled to be sharing what we're up to with the world. Uh, next week, we're going to be talking about flowering and sharing some more information about how to use Trello Grow LST, specifically how to go from the veg phase to the flowering phase. But I just wanted to, you know, let everyone know again that uh, this is really designed for people who, um, you know, are trying to grow tall plants in short, small spaces, trying to get the most out of each individual plant. And you might be strapped for time. You may be busy. You have lots of other things on your plate. So you need some assistance to help you out and you grow. Um, so thanks again. Matt Love, Matt Peace.